and welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started here in just a minute, but please hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot while you're waiting for me to shuffle. We're going to get into Miss Zen Zendaya Coleman's reading. We're going to find out all about the celebrity in just a minute, but first I'm going to get the shuffle done. I'm going to get into her astrology and all the information surrounding Zendaya. Everything Zendaya, everything Zendaya. All right, let's get started. So, she is a son in Virgo. She was born in Oakland, California, United States, September 1st, 1996 at 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, a little bit more about Zendaya is that she was born Zendaya Marie Stormier Coleman, known simply as Zendaya. She's an American actress. She's a teen singer and dancer. She began performing in an early age with the dance group Future Shock Oakland, the California Shakespeare Theater in Orinda, Orinda. And as part of her studies in the Oakland School for Arts and Controversy program, she was also in, when she was in her early teens, she actually embarked on her entertainment career, graduating from modeling work for Macy's and Old Navy. Hmm, that's odd. And she did a kid's bop version of Katy Perry, If You're Hot and You're Cold. If you're hot and you're cold, you're yes and you're no. That's a good one. That was released September 17th, and it peaked 51 on the billboards. I'm I'm not gonna say a thing. That's crazy. <laughs> just said I just said one thing, I promise. Okay, sun signs Virgo, moon signs a Taurus, and we're gonna get into this. So I'm just doing some surface energy. Just want to find out what's going on on the surface of things, and we'll get a little bit deeper look into her general read through tarot cards. Okay. She could be dealing with something as far as work. Surface energy is just indicating that there is some choices that she's needing to make, and those are very much on their way. Um, having all to do with anything that inspires her something simply you know choosing something based off intuition a gut decision just something that she's able to um kind of like level up on so just making sure that she's picking and choosing in the way that is best for her especially because these things are very much on their way um, there is a little bit lacking here when it comes to support, and this has to do with her, her uh, work and connection. Um, she just feels like there's lack of support there, or just energetically there's no support, or there's support coming in, and it's just not there yet. So maybe that's why she hasn't quite made a decision um, based on this situation. Yeah, definitely having to do with that work stuff. So any inspiration, ambition, goals, these are all kind of coming together, all bringing together um, a healthy choice. And again, that is on the way. So it's something she's going to need to make as far as a decision. Um, could involve distance, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely some sort of a burden here, though. This burden, it's not very much a burden, more so a blockage. And I feel like if she were to just welcome it, walk through it, get through it, get through the shitty time, get through, through this moment where it doesn't feel very loving or very supportive, on the other side is something completely different. So it's just all about kind of like being passive and not really wanting to deal with whatever that is. And it's just like speaking of love, something that is really heart led, um, but it's something that is uncomfortable for her. just like a big closing chapter here it's just like something is really closing as far as like coming to an ending the burdens are coming to an end this um uncomfortable feeling is coming to an end and i feel like again with expansion through her visions her creations her work that is all there's something very much coming to an ending something new beginning so it's just kind of all about starting at step one quite honestly beginning beginning process anything in the past that has anything to do with this would be some sort of a lover or some sort of a spiritual connection or a soulmate so it was a decision that she made based on a spiritual connection that she had and it had a lot to do with kind of where she's going right now so just maybe putting some things off because of this connection yeah 
definitely distracted. It kind of distracted her, kind of brought her a little bit of conflict because of, you know, feeling scatterbrained, um, especially when you're trying to work or, you know, make things business or whatever that might be. I feel like this is definitely something where it's just, she kind of keeps putting the positive off. And again, it has to do with that spiritual connection or that soulmate situation. And that's an earth sign, could be an air sign, Gemini in specific. It hasn't completely died out either though. So like, even though she has issues here with um, kind of like moving forward as far as like money or property or her home life, this is all going to come to an ending again, just indicating through the current reading. Bottom line here. Bottom line is that in the past, this spiritual connection has always supported her. The spiritual connection has always been there, especially in work or her creative side. So this person was always there. So to feel like there's no support currently or upcoming, it makes me wonder if maybe there is no more connection with this other person that she's dealing with, which would be, I'm assuming, the guy that she's dating. Um, Superman? No. Tom? I think I think his name's Tom. God, likely outcome here. <laughs> likely upcoming outcome. What do we have for the rest of the month heading into next month? So rising up, trying to rise up to the occasion, trying to expand and succeed, especially within her new normal. So she's getting into something new. So starting up something new, just confirming that. Something planned, something very organized. Now, again, I kind of indicated that that air sign might be goodbye, kaput, kaput. This is just telling me all sorts of things. So this is just indicating upcoming, maybe just not dealing with this person or just not coping with, you know, the stress that comes with this person. Maybe just kind of numb or distressed to the person or it, no communication, though. This person and her may not be communicating upcoming here within the end of the month, so... And the root of that is definitely this change or this feeling like there's lack of support. This is just completely confirming that to me. So any conflict, change, anything constructive or not constructive, anything coping or trying to manage the situation, it's just very much in a place where it doesn't feel supported, it doesn't feel connected. Okay, so there's just, you know, the withdrawn energy. Eventually this will get into a different space, but she's kind of withdrawn so that she can deal with this new beginning. Okay. And this is a new beginning. This is a new opportunity as far as goals or dreams that she might have. So starting up a, you know, a new venture and kind of withdrawing from the other situation, she's definitely trying to just plan, organize, succeed and deal. She's, she's dealing and she's very much in a place where we all understand this feeling, kind of like this new beginning, this new start. So we all, we all understand this feeling. So um, hopefully everything goes accordingly. I hope you enjoyed the Zendaya Celebrity Tarot Reading. If you would like, please go ahead, hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot, click the bell so you don't miss any of your future notifications here. You won't miss out on general love or celebrity tarot card readings with me. My name is Jordan. I am Hangman Tarot. I will see you again soon.